Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to get Kali Linux uh, installed on a Synology using the Virtual Machine Manager. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up the Package Center, and if you haven't already, install the Virtual Machine Manager. I've already ha I already have that installed here, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys where I grabbed the uh, Linux ISO from. I'll put the link in the description of the video so you can grab that. Um, I already had this downloaded, so I went ahead and canceled that. And then for your login details, your username and password are both going to just be uh, Kali Linux. So first thing you're going to want to do is uh, actually click this down arrow and then hit import. We're going to actually do this from an OVA file, and then we're going to upload it from the file that we downloaded. So the reason why this is so easy is with the OVA, um, it automatically has the entire machine set up so you don't have to go through the entire setup process. Uh, I'm going to quickly fast forward through this upload. It took probably about, uh, you know, three to four minutes and obviously it's going to depend on your hardware that you're using on your Synology. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next, give it a name. It automatically assigns two CPU cores and uh, two gigs of RAM, which if you wanted to, you could technically change. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. Just looking at the advanced settings here, uh, just leave that. And then for your default network, just leave that. And then for the last thing here, the only thing I changed was the auto start. I set that to yes. So if your Synology were to reboot, uh, it would automatically come back up. And then the last thing here is setting the users that will have permission to this VM. So I just set myself and then I'd check the power on uh, after setup. So. Next thing here, it's gonna go ahead and import it. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part as well, um, but it was pretty quick. Um, and then we'll get back to the next part. All right, so here at the last part, you're gonna see it get to 98%. And then once it's done, it's gonna power off and it's gonna automatically power back on. It says preparing, it shows powering on. And at that point you can then click the connect button it opens up a uh, VNC essentially to it. And then uh, you'll kind of see the last part of the setup here. Uh, once this is done, you'll be able to go into the login screen. And then as I mentioned earlier, um, you'll be able to use the password or username Kelly Linux and the password Kelly Linux as well. A couple of weird errors here. It's probably because this is actually meant for VirtualBox, which you could also do this as well on VirtualBox, but uh, just to kind of show you a quick tutorial on being able to kind of get this set up in under uh, 10 minutes here. I just wanted to go ahead and show it on a Synology. And then once these last couple of squares kind of finish off here, you're gonna go ahead and see it boot into the actual OS itself. And then you're gonna see the login come up. Like I said, put in your username and password, hit login. And then once it's up and running, I'm just gonna quickly show here opening up the terminal window. And that's it. So it's that easy to get it up and running. Uh, last thing here, I'm just gonna show kind of shutting it down. And that's it. Thanks for watching.